those who are already in the 5D union, you can start your work right now. Come on, mush mush. We need help. The world needs help. I will be doing a Divine Masculine reading this time around. My last reading, the Divine Feminines, you guys are sort of going on your own journey that you need to do. With the Divine Masculines, the energy hasn't changed since I did my energy update, so please look at the full moon in Capricorn, which is about a couple of weeks ago now. The energies are still valid between the push and pull between the Divine Feminines and Masculines. But anyway, I'm, I'm just kind of curious what's going on with the Divine Masculine Collective. So I'm going to try to uh, dive into what's going into their little pea brains. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. Okay, so I'm going to use the Sacred Traveller Oracle cards like I did with the Divine Feminines and see what's going on there. Okay. I again mentioned that I am a messy intuitive reader. However, the cards will pop out and lay. I will read it according to where my gut's telling me to read it as. If these resonate with you, great. If it doesn't, stuff it. Just take the nuggets that do. I will be leaving a divine message song at the end of this reading. It's usually the lyrics, the band, the artist as well. It could be just the video, the audio from it. Yeah, that might trigger you to get further divine messages. Okay, let's see what the Sacred Traveller cards say about the divine masculine for this energy update for the week and like i said before this is not easy okay distant thunder clear the air mm. that, mm, this is too many cards I had a hard time getting cards out of the divine feminine's reading okay is there too many cards here I'm going to take it. <clears throat> so we've got distant thunder, joy and delight, open your heart to joy, grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands, passion and pleasure savor your life. Okay. Looks like the divine masculine might be opening up their heart chakra. They are coming out of possibly the dark night of the soul. They know that they need to clear their own shit. Open your heart to joy. Now, there's a lot of joys in here. Just by looking at the words, I think they are definitely embracing the divine feminine energy, which is really good to see. So they are honing in to the energies that are pretty much divine feminine traits. So joy and delight, grace and gratitude, passion and pleasure, etc. is a very strong feminine energy coming through for them. They might be actually feeling that way towards you as well. And it's possibly some of you divine feminines out there are actually doing a wonderful job drawing in the divine masculine energy and embracing them. So as you do so, they are also feeling this feeling of the divine feminine going in within themselves as well. Okay, so let's move on with the cards. So, okay, the tarot, let's see how are the divine masculines crappy thing okay these cards came out for the divine feminine knight of swords and justice so they're rushing in again fools rush in but there's a justice card here oh are we gonna mirror each other let's see i did shuffle these ahead of time the hermit still I'm going to, didn't fall out. Okay, I'm going to continue on. You're probably going to hate me for not using those cards, but I, look, it's got to, it's got to pop out. It's got to stick out. Okay. Let's, okay. See that? I'm going to get that one. And wow, 10 of pentacles. That's come up in the divine feminines spread as well. Oh, what's wrong with my shuffling? Okay, the Divine Masculine is working hard, moving forward, Knight of Wands, action, working, oh, Eight of Pentacles, focusing on some work. They're rushing in. There's justice here. They're going through hermit mode. I think the universe is sort of highlighting to them what is right for them. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, which again is the Abundance card, the Happy. It's not quite the Happy Ever After card as um, the Ten of Cups, but it's a pretty good stable situation. Knight of Wands, they are taking action moving forward. And this Ace of Pentacles, it's like they're working out a plan. 
Yeah, it looks like they're either focusing on work, they're happy with their job, there's steady. I think I mentioned divine masculines were also at risk at one point in my couple of other readings with some of them. In regards to their work situation, there was a bit of instability, but I think they're coming a good with their finances or work situation. Okay, let's get some clarifying cards. I'm going to just shuffle these again. Okay, so Knight of Swords and Justice, what does that mean? Too many cards. Oh, Ace of Swords. Ooh. Mm, that was sideways, wasn't it? Ah, that looks better. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, it was sideways, so I had to flip it. Okay, oh, broken heart. Seven of Pentacles, Harvest Time. Okay, Three of Swords, Truth came out. Something about their truth that has come out, or some truth has come out. They were rushing in. Justice, Three of Swords, there's heartbreak. Seven of Pentacles. They worked hard. Okay, I'm putting that there, and I'm putting it there. Okay, they've rushed in or something. News have rushed in or something's rushed in. They've got the truth. There was justice that was prevailing. The Hermit card, they have been, it's possibly, yeah, the Dark Knight of the Soul. They were brokenhearted. There was possibly, I mentioned this in the Feminine's reading, collateral damage. They've broken someone's heart or they've broken their own heart or breaking heart. Something is, oh, I think there was a broken heart all around, a heartbreak, but it had to be done. I think they had to break someone's heart. Possibly they might be going through a breakup. If they were with someone, I think they've gone through a breakup. They've been working on this for a while and they've actually come good. Uh, investment, investment was in play and things have been good, so in abundance. Mm, this is like the divine feminine's thing. It's possibly that the divine masculine has split if they were with someone, there might have been a split. There's some sort of breakup going on. They've been working on that to a point where it, they've got what they wanted. They were able to remove themselves successfully. So they were able to move quickly or move on and take action. And now they can focus on their work moving forward. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the top of the deck, bottom of the deck of this one. Okay. All right. Top of the deck. Hmm. They've snapped out. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, leading to victory. Oh, okay, this is kind of make. You've got to watch the Divine Feminine reading now, okay? Okay, they've snuck. Oh, they were doing some sneaky, tricky dicky stuff. Something they had to, they possibly been sneaking around for a while. They had to, they had to make an, a rash decision. Maybe they got busted or something or, or something or or they just they just had to say the truth they've been doing a lot of healing internal healing and they had to cause a heartbreak they had to cause a heartbreak I don't think it's you divine feminines I think it's with whoever is around them they they are sick of lying they are sick of lying and they are coming up with the truth but they knew that there will be hearts broken I know you divine feminines probably also got your heart broken at one point in time with this person but I don't I don't think it's you. I think it's someone who is possibly in around them that are toxic and they just had to get rid of them. And that moves them to where they were planning, they were trying to work it out. How am I going to extricate myself out of a situation and still go through the Ten of Pentacles and have that stability moving forward? I think they were successfully able to get out of it. It's possibly a divorce settlement here or something. And then they were able to move on and then focus on their work and victory, victory coming out to public. You might hear about their separation soon, looks like it to me. It's all been a secret for a while about their karmic relationship. This is how I'm feeling anyway. It's those who divine masculines who are in a karmic relationship. It could be about even their mother or parents. Judgment in reverse. Okay, there's a delay. Uh, delay. Okay, delay. Why is there a delay? Oh, this happened last time. Delay. 
Maybe because they have been delayed for so long that this shit had to go down. What was I throwing this card to delay? There was possibly a delay in things to come out right. So maybe that's what's been happening. The reason why the Divine Masculine has not moved forward as quickly as what was expected in the last few months was because of this going down. But I think they're finally free. That's why it was causing the judgment to be delayed. Uh, Angel Gabriel, which was in my last reading. And now they're moving forward. Uh, Knight of Wands, they're in that action mode. They're not quite king material just yet. Okay, so, all right, what else? What is this Eight of Pentacles? And what... What are they moving to? Okay, let's go. What, what are they moving towards? What is this Eight of Pentacles and, and what is this victory? Is it a soccer victory? <laughs> anyway, but I'm get this. It's old news. Okay, what's this one? King of Swords in reverse. Okay. Judgment. That's going with the judgment. It's 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 the delaying of the decision again. Delaying of decision. How's that work? So they're moving, but they're delaying a decision. Why? Hangman usually means a different perspective. The hangman in reverse. Mm. They're getting, they're feeling the pressure of, okay, they're feeling the pressure of what are the social circumstances. What's happened here, I think they split up with their karmic partner. They're trying to extricate. There was a lot of heartbreak around, etc. It wasn't an easy one. They're finally, there's delay coming through only because they are still paranoid about what people will say about them. I think their job, every, like I, I think they were a particularly probably a power couple that everyone thought that they would actually, they were perfect for each other, but somehow that wasn't the case behind closed doors and they're actually hesitating moving forward to to public eye because of what people around them will think or especially what they would think of them now that's pretty tough that is pretty tough especially if they were quite a popular couple i think it's also okay um it's yeah it's also a work thing as well maybe it might affect their status potentially if about them about them being found out that things have blown up. Okay, let's see. Okay. No wonder I had to uh, be compelled to do a divine masculine spread because the feminines are doing their own thing. Don't want to get in that muck. Too many cards, but that came out. Okay. Any more cards? Okay, keep going. Any more cards? Okay, that was sideways, right? Okay. Burn the house down. Okay. Five of cups in reverse. Oh. Oh. Okay. Because what I'm getting here is the Queen of Pentacles. That was the Divine Feminine in the last spread. I think they regret the decision about you, the Divine Feminines. They are... Heartbreak. They, um... Mm, let me think. Three of Pentacles. They regret what they did to you. They're trying to work away how they could repair. Guy looks like he's repairing something. Repair what you guys had. But you're sitting there looking at your coin. Just like the other spread. So... They are thinking of you guys. They are definitely thinking about you and they deeply regret about what happened between you two and he he or she is trying to work out how to repair this because I'm seeing this guy trying to repair. Or maybe there might be a third person trying to possibly giving advice on how to repair. What the hell is this lady wearing? What is that? What is that? Is that Mr. Snooze? Anyway. Okay. All right. 
I might leave those tarot there. Let's see how they... Uh, energy, energy cards. No, I'm going on mirrors cards. Mirrors cards. Okay, this might not be for everyone that resonates with. Long dis oh, I came in the last one. I shuffled these two. Oh, communication. Okay. Okay. Is it because you're coming to town? Is Santa Claus coming to town? Okay, one more card. Oh, this is relating to the previous spread. Travel. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is mirroring the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine's reading. Those are traveling to a city or destination or traveling somewhere. I, I, I was feeling that Divine Feminine, uh, gosh, you're going to get into communication. Traveling, it's distance. Some of you, not for everyone, not everyone can travel. Not everyone. But for those particularly traveling, backpacking or whatever it is you, you, you Divine Feminines are doing, uh, you are going to get in communication. Are you gonna hook are you gonna contact them? You gotta look at my last Divine Feminine reading. It is mirroring everyone. Okay, alright, so that's happening. People are going traveling. Lucky you. A lot of us are still in lockdown. Okay, what else? What else? Okay, um I'm gonna go butterfly cards. These are usually my divine masculine cards. Because it's very 3D, very functional, very logical. Okay, what is going on with the divine masculine? What is going on with the Divine Masculine? Going to give me anything? Hobbies. Oh, that's great. Adult, okay. Adult children, okay. The Divine Masculines who have adult children in their life. What's the hobbies got to do with it? Maybe that they're at their house at this point in time. Maybe they have to deal with their issues. Self-employment, okay, they might be going into their own business or probably, yep. Maybe their hobby will be their um, their side hustle. They're picking up a side hustle here. Adult children. Helping the adult children. What, they're moving in with them? And religion and spirituality, that came out with the romance cards. Okay, they're getting they're getting uh, om on us. They're getting a bit kumbaya, which is a good thing. Self-employment. They're meditating, I think, now. Self-employment hobbies. Side hustle going on. Maybe that's how they are able to squirrel their nest, their coins. Okay, I'm going to do the romance cards because I'm thinking, let's see what it has to say. How the Divine Masculines feel about you. Divine Masculines can be male or female. It's just an energy. Okay. Se oh, yep, 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 they are. They have separated. They have separated from their karmic partner. Could have, Their karmic partner could have been their soulmate too. So, very tough one. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking steps. Too many cards. One more card, please. That, I say, is making the effort with you. Okay, that one. You deserve love. Okay, they want... They... You are lovable. Yes, so... So it looks like the Divine Masculines have separated from their karmic partner or partner. Again, it could be a business thing. It could be moving out from home, you know, from their parents. They could be also blockages block as well. Um, make an effort. They, I think they're contemplating making an effort with you now because they know that you provide them love and you deserve love. They deserve love. I think they know that you were giving them the love that they deserve. And I think you've probably shown to them or they've realised that you have been providing them unconditional love. And, um, and yeah, they just think, yeah, 
this person is the real deal. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, okay. I'm not really going to do your inner goddess stuff. Um, okay, all right. I'll do the universe has your back thing. We'll see. We'll see what the cards. I mean, it is for the divine masculine. Um, is there any other cards I could think of? Any other cards? No, I might use the energy cards. Let's see what they've got. I'll probably pull out one or two cards just to finish this off. Okay, what? What is the last uh, message? That, let's start again. What's the last message? What's the message you need to give us about the Divine Masculine in the next week or so? Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. I haven't had that card before. Okay, Spirit Connections, Intuition and Inspiration. The beautiful Angel Uriel, also called the Fire of God, wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the Divine. She brings great power to your seventh energy center, which is called the crown chakra and is located at the top of your head. The card upright indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information, inspiration from the wonderful beings of the spirit world. This could be a time for great intuition for guides, blah, blah, blah. Right. He's feeling it or she's feeling it. The divine masculine is feeling you at this point in time. The crown shack, shack. The crown chakra is opening up. They are feeling your energy, divine feminines. Those who are balancing themselves, great job, guys, because this, this person, this divine masculine is waking the fuck up. <laughs> and they're actually feeling you. They're actually feeling you at this point in time. They know. They know. Okay, one more card. Healer of the ages, the greatest of divine masculines is Jesus. Okay, healer of the ages, heart chakra open. Like I said in the previous readings, in the 5D, guys, you are already in union. They, I think, have recognized you in the 5D, you as their divine feminine or counterpart with that energy, guys. And whoever's, you know, if you've got that already in you and you know it then this is very powerful especially with twins this is a very powerful synchronicity that you'll be going moving forward it's i think the mission's now starting for both of you the twins mission has already started those in the 5d are already in union these twin flames in particular are recognizing who their counterpart is they are balancing their energies the push and pull is now becoming more steady they actually drawing from each other and also being independent of each other as well, that unconditional love. This is becoming very powerful. So with the divine masculines and divine feminines who are actually aware and in union 5D, you guys can move forward with your mission, not necessarily in union in the 3D, but you can start. And you'll be amazed how much power you have and how, as in power as in how much healing power you have on others. And people are going to see that and people are going to recognize that you're beaming. You guys are beaming. And that came out on the other cards in my other spread about the turning on the heart. Like, okay, you guys have to look at the My Divine Feminine spread prior to this and um, and then go on to this second. So this is a great reading, guys. Those who are already in the 5D Union, you can start your work right now. Come on, whoosh, whoosh. We need help. The world needs help. Okay, all right. I hope you like this reading. Don't forget to listen to the music after this and I'll catch you guys next week. See you then. Bye. I found my Smirnoff hat. Yay, it's been a while and it's freaking cold today. Anyway, the song choice I made for this divine masculine reading is by One Republic Counting Stars. Now that's, again, another oldie, but it reminds me I used to sing it to my little baby back then. And, uh, yeah, and I thought, oh, yeah, that song, of course, it makes sense. And look at the video, and, uh, yeah, it covers it all. Kind of takes the piss take of a healer, but, you know, just go with it. Um, I don't mind the lead singer. It's kind of daggy but cute at the same time. But, anyway, I uh, hope you like this reading, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.